How much money do you need to retire? A key part of retirement planning is to answer the question, how much do I need to retire? The answer varies by individual, and it depends largely on your income now and the lifestyle you want in retirement. Research published by Schwab Retirement Plan Services in 2019 illustrates two things. First, participants believe they need $1.7 million on average to retire. And second, many are not on track to get there. Why is that the case? There may be multiple causes, but not knowing how much to save, when to save it, and how to make those savings grow can create shortfalls in your nest egg. In this episode, we'll walk you through the five things to remember when determining how much you'll need to retire. But before we go too far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the future episodes about growing your retirement fund. Five things to remember when determining how much you'll need to retire. One, calculate the income you need in retirement. Most experts say your retirement income should be about 80% of your final pre-retirement salary. That means if you make $100,000 annually at retirement, you need at least $80,000 per year to have a comfortable lifestyle after leaving the workforce. This amount can be adjusted up or down depending on other sources of income, such as social security, pensions, and part-time employment, as well as factors like your health and desired lifestyle. For example, you might need more than that if you plan to travel extensively during retirement. 2. Get estimates on sources of retirement other than investments Once you have an idea of your retirement income needs, your next step is to assess how prepared you are to meet those needs. In other words, what sources of retirement income will be available to you? Your employer may offer a traditional pension that will pay you monthly benefits. In addition, you can likely count on Social Security to provide a portion of your retirement income. Additional sources of retirement income may include a 401k or other retirement plan, IRAs, annuities and other investments. The amount of income you receive from those sources will depend on the amount you invest, the rate of investment return and other factors. Finally, if you plan to work during retirement, your job earnings will be another source of income. 3. Use 4% rule to estimate how investment income can last 30 years. There are different ways to determine how much money you need to save to get the retirement income you want. One easy to use formula is to divide your desired annual retirement income by 4%, which is known as the 4% rule. For example, to generate the $80,000 you would need a nest egg at retirement of about $2 million, $80,000 divided by 0.04, this strategy assumes a 5% return on investment after taxes and inflation. No additional retirement income, i.e. social security, and a lifestyle similar to the one you would be living at the time you retire. The 4% rule does not work unless you stick to it year in and year out. Straying one year to splurge on a big purchase can have major consequences, as this reduces the principal, which directly impacts the compound interest that a retiree depends on to sustain their income. 4. Decide when you'll retire To determine your total retirement needs, you can't just estimate how much annual income you need, you also have to estimate how long you'll be retired. Why? The longer your retirement, the more years of income you'll need to fund it. The length of your retirement will depend partly on when you plan to retire. This important decision typically revolves around your personal goals and financial situation. For example, you may see yourself retiring at 50 to get the most out of your retirement. Maybe a booming stock market or a generous early retirement package will make that possible. Although it's great to have the flexibility to choose when you'll retire, it's important to remember that retiring at 50 will end up costing you a lot more than retiring at 65. 5. Make up any income shortfall if you're lucky, your expected income sources will be more than enough to fund even a lengthy retirement. But what if it looks like you'll come up short? Don't panic. There are probably steps that you can take to bridge the gap. A financial professional can help you figure out the best ways to do that, but here are a few suggestions. Try to cut current expenses so you'll have more money to save for retirement. Shift your assets to investments that have the potential to substantially outpace inflation, but keep in mind that investments that offer higher potential returns may involve greater risk of loss. Lower your expectations for retirement so you won't need as much money. No beach house on the Riviera, for example. Work part-time during retirement for extra income. Consider delaying your retirement for a few years or longer. How financially prepared are you for retirement? The last thing you want to do in retirement is worry about money. For this reason, it's not ideal to be carrying large debt into retirement, so it's worth paying off debts while you're still working and not drawing down on your savings. Have you set a budget for your retirement living expenses? Remember that some costs, such as healthcare for starters, will increase as you get older. Start making a retirement budget. 
Published detailed budget breakdowns are a good starting point for working out budget amounts in retirement. It's a good idea to prepare a budget that compares what you're spending on money now versus what you'll be spending in retirement. That's because your expenses may change quite a bit once you retire. That way, you'll be better prepared for the financial change of retirement. At the end of the day, these are merely guidelines to help you make some decisions when it comes to your retirement savings. Each person is different, and it's difficult to assess your individual needs without understanding your overall financial picture. This is where a financial professional can help you with figuring out retirement savings and what you can do to get to your goals. That's it for this episode. Please give us your feedback in the comments section below. To watch more episodes of financial topics like this, hit that like and subscribe button. If you want to support us even more, buy us a coffee from the link in the description. Good luck and see you in the next episode.